In a vote of six to one, it passed, a new school boundary that was two years in the making. But it left parents, particularly in the crossings area of Lethbridge's west side, feeling a bit slighted because of some last minute changes that happened last week. And the latest version that came out on just on Friday afternoon, um, it showed that we were now zoned for Nicholas Sharon School. And there was no there was no mention of, of that change anywhere in the process. There was also no opportunity to provide feedback on that change. Uh, the feedback loop was now closed. Crossings families with children attending Colbanks Elementary were originally told they'd be moved to Mike Mountain Horse, but then a last minute change had them slotted for Nicholas Sharon. Um, we were frustrated because we did take steps because she was upset at first to find out she was going to have to leave Colbanks because she loves it here. Um, so we took the steps to introduce her to the Mike Mountain Horse School. We took her to the playground. We went on the website so she could see the staff and that kind of thing to get her used to Mike Mountain Horse. So she was excited. So then when we had to tell her, you might be going to Nicholas Sharon, she wasn't pleased <laughs> about that. So, but I mean, they're kids and they'll adjust. It just seems like this whole thing could have been avoided with a little more foresight. There's a, there's a perception out there that we haven't had the foresight, but in fact, we haven't received funding from the province. And so that's quite, that's quite frustrating because we, we're not in the business of moving kids around. We don't want to pull neighborhoods out of their neighborhood school. We want schools to be thriving places and kids to find community and be rooted and, and parents as well. And so um, if we do receive, hopefully fingers crossed, finally, a second elementary school for the west side, um, it's still four years down the road. So we still need to deal with those capacity issues because we don't want overcrowding in our classrooms, right? We don't want um, overcrowding in our gyms and our, and our learning commons. And the, as those are the spaces that we feel, we feel that pressure. The new boundary changes will go into effect this fall. For Birch City News, I'm Jeanette Roche.